And when he came out of that meeting with the pen, he marched down to Allison's room. Sir Cole, Sir Sip Cole. Well, he wasn't Sip no more. He's Sir Alpha Cole now. Because he marched down to that room. Onward, Sir Cole. You know, like I could hear like a, the trumpets playing in the background. Well, he said, I, I'm a man. I deserve a clean cooch. See, I'm reading all these signs. Well... He went from Sip Cole to Alpha Cole, didn't he? Because and Miss Al and Queen Allison liked it. She liked it. So he. I'm back with another. Back with another. Okay. We House of Dragon season two. Episode two, two, two. I didn't see a title for this um for this episode, so I guess it's just episode two, or maybe it's just titled House of Dragon. I don't know, I don't know. But there's a a hey, excellent, excellent, excellent episode, bro. Excellent, excellent, excellent uh, episode. I can't say that enough. From front to back, top to bottom, this episode, this episode was jam-packed, full of stuff, and there's so many things we could talk about. I mean, I could sit up and talk about the, you know, like the after, the aftermath, after the print, the little baby prince was killed, like how uh, King's Landing was in chaos, and it was really interesting, interesting to me. We had, uh, Aven here, uh, his brother with the eye patch. It was interesting seeing they had a contrast of the two brothers in the aftermath of the killing, of the baby killing, like what they were doing. You had Aven here, and then you had uh, Aegon the second here, and you notice what they were doing after the. Uh, you notice a difference in them, like what they were doing. They were like con contrast, comparing and contrasting them after the killing. You know, A A and you know eye patch. Amen. He was just in investigating his room. He saw he could. He was being a detective, you know, searching around, observing things, and uh, he noticed that you know that he was the first choice to be killed. They came to his room first. He was the first choice to be killed. And then of course you got a gun here. He was a. Uh, he had a sword. He was tearing up his dad's uh, little model town. With the sword, yelling, I am king, I am king. He was basically having a grown-up version of a, a hissy fit. I mean, it's funny. The kid that was killed, I think he was like a toddler, right? His son was a toddler, but he was behaving like the king himself was behaving like a toddler. And that was just interesting. But I'm not going to talk about that. I could talk about that. That was interesting in the beginning. There were so many great, interesting things. I mean, the scenes. You know, you had the scene with uh, Renea and Damon going back and forth. Those two actors. And then uh, you had after that, you had the scene with Otto Hightower and Simp Corson and, Simps, and Sir Simp Cole and uh, King Aegon. Those two scenes, like all those actors like gave their best. And it's like they were all fishing for Emmys, weren't they? They were in competition to try to get an Emmy. Like, but this scene right here, very interesting. How they really was getting real. Raymond and Damon, they were getting real. Like she was saying, can you, telling him, can you ever, can Damon ever uh, see Ra Raymond as her, his ruler? And you got your answer. No, he cannot. And as a matter of fact, he thinks that uh, Viserys, his brother, he just made Raymond a successor to spite him or whatever. So that was a great scene. But I'm not going to talk about that. We could talk about that. And uh, we could, like I said, we could talk about another riveting Emmy scene that we saw here with Sir Otto Hightower, his grandson, his idiot grandson, Aegon II, and Sir Simp Cole. Sir Christian Simp Cole. Okay? But... Uh, you know, his grandson so stupid, hanging out on rat catchers. Wasn't that stupid? After his auto high tower, they made a good political move. They made the peasants hate Renea, and they did the little procession throughout town so the peasants can hate Renea. And this idiot goes and hangs all the rat catchers. I mean, he did kill the rat catcher that killed his son, so... 
But that was just stupid. And uh, you can see Otto was really regretting what he done. He missed. He really appreciated Viserys and everything. You know, that was just a amazing scene. And uh, you know, uh, uh, it, it, my personal opinion, I think Otto was getting what came to him when Otto, when his own grandson kicked him out of the hand. I, I felt like Otto was getting. He was the universe was giving back to him. He was getting his karma because Otto, you know, uh, it's funny how Otto calls him a pompous pup. But that moment when Otto told his grandson, you know, his grandson said Viserys chose me because he said Viserys said you you shouldn't be king, and uh, uh, Aegon said, but he chose me, and then Otto said, that's what you think. That was Otto's. T- um, that was our old way of being a pompous pup himself. So you see where Aegon gets it from, his granddad being a pump. But anyway, I felt like uh, Aldo is just, uh, he's just getting what's coming to him, getting kicked off like that because he undermined Viserys last season and all that cunning and, and all that cunning and and the battling with him and Damon, all that cutthroat stuff they were doing to, and what Otto did to get his grandson in the uh you know in that throne and to get his daughter Allison uh married to the uh king and all that like it just came back on Otto. And they're all a bunch of uh hypocrites anyway, just like Otto calling his grandson a pompous pup. Otto is himself. And it's just like Allison and Sir Christian Cole, they swearing on all they, you know, all their religious stuff and talking all their religious church stuff and all that. And they's a bunch of hypocrites. They running around sleeping with each other, right? And they, and wasn't that last season what they were holding against Rainier when she was messing with that strong man and had those strong boys, if you know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of hypocrites going on, uh, hypocritical behavior going on. But I ain't going to talk about that. Enough of that. Another thing I could talk about is uh, the comparison that I saw, the similarities I saw in King Joffrey, remember from Game of Thrones, King Joffrey Baratheon, and King Aegon II. I saw some, com- I saw some similarities in those two, like as far as rulers, their ego, their uh, pompous arrogance, uh, spoiled brat kind of act behavior. But I could talk about that, but that ain't what I'm going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about is the real thing that everybody, this is the most important thing about the show in my eyes, okay? That last scene, okay? Those last couple of scenes with Sir with Sir Simp Cole. Okay? You know, with Aldo, remember Aldo? He became a uh Aldo, you know, uh Sir uh King Aegon, he took the hand, he said, take the hand pin off and give it to Sir Cole. And Sir Cole became a hand. And when Sir Cole got that little pin that says he's the hand, it's amazing what that little pin can do for a man, ain't it? Now, if we remember last season, uh, season, you know, Sir Cole, he was simple. To, he's been simple the year so far, you know. R- Renea dumped him last season, and he's been had a bug up his butt against Renea, uh, Princess Renea, uh, Queen Renea, all this time. And the f- last episode, the first episode began. He got his face all up in uh Miss Alice, Queen Alice uh cooch. Right? He got his face, he on his knees, all up in Miss Alice and Cooch. They uh they almost late for the council meeting. You know? He had them all in that cooch, and then soon as she got hers and got what she wanted, she said, okay, we have to go to the council meeting. She didn't even let Cole uh she didn't even let Cole get none. That's I mean, he just simple the year. She just, uh, all she does, I mean, he just got his face up in between her le- uh, legs all day, every day. She just used him just as, as the simp he is, that Sir Cole. That's why I call him Sir Simp Cole. But hold on a minute. 
when he got that king hand button, that little button that say he the hand of the king, well, he went from simp code to alpha code, didn't he? Because when he left up out of there, he walked high. And if you remember, remember, remember before the meeting, the council, before the meeting with Auto, and he became the hand, he was standing in front of uh, Alice uh door and alice said you're not going to tell anybody and he looked at her like what do you take me for and she said that somebody who wants to uh somebody who wants validation or some little simps some little and basically basically she called him a simp basically to his face then he went to that meeting and when he came out of that meeting with the pen he marched down to alice's room Sir Cole, Sir Simp Cole. Well, he wasn't Simp no more. He's Sir Alpha Cole now. Because he washed down in that room. Onward, Sir Cole. You know, like I could hear like a, the Trump is playing in the background. And Miss Allison, she had just, uh, I guess she was getting ready for a bath or whatever. And, and notice that. Now, this is something key. Let me stop. Last episode, this how bad Allison treated him like a simp. Last episode, did you notice that she had she didn't even clean her cooch and he was down there eating it. He she had him eating the dirty cooch last last episode. Because notice uh she just hurried up and went to the meeting and then about 20 minutes later in the episode, she took her bath. Miss Allison took her bath. Remember, she was in the tub and told her maiden, give me that rag and start crap. So she had him eating dirty cooch. Dirty medieval cooch at that. At that. This medieval cooch. They probably didn't shave down there either. She put. So anyway, this time, Sir Cole, after he became the hand, he made sure she had, uh, I think she was, uh, was she getting ready for her bath? It, it didn't matter. I think she had already had a bath. So he said, I, I'm a man. I deserve a clean cooch. See, I'm reading all these signs. He came in there after uh, he marched in that room at the end of the episode. He didn't even say a word. He, he grabbed her and threw her up against the wall. And he just had to look in his eyes. This is my this is my vagina now. I, I, how would they say it in, in the medieval times? This is me, my fair lady, Dying, this is dying my own vagina now. He slammed against the wall and he went at her too, like a man, like an alpha. And Miss Al and Queen Allison liked it. She liked it. So he became Sir Alpha Cole. Now, so I take my hand off to Sir Alpha Cole. I'm gonna call him Sir Alpha Cole. Don't let me down, Sir Alpha Cole. Sir Alpha Christian Cole. I look forward to seeing going forward. Uh, how is he gonna stay in there? Or he gonna go back to simping? Don't you go back to simping, Sir uh, Cole, Sir Alpha Cole. I'm gonna call him Sir Alpha Cole now. That's what I'm talking about. And that, my friends, is the most important thing about this show in my eyes. Now, look, as far as predictions go, I mean, whatever. I don't. I mean. We'll see how the story unfolds. A lot of you book readers already know what's going to happen anyway. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, but uh, does it really? I mean, ain't none of these Targaryens fit to be uh, king or queens, right? They all crazy. All that damn incest they got going on. All that inbreeding going on. They crazy as cat shit. All right, so. But anyway. That's what I feel. Season 2, Episode 2. I'll be back. Until next time.